Bonjour, bienvenidos, ahlin, and welcome to today's language tutorial. Well, you will learn to translate and use chemical formulas to identify substances and what atoms are found in them. I'm your host, Mrs. Jana, a teacher in Austin ISD. We've already learned that some atoms are reactive. Which of these atoms are reactive? The oxygen and hydrogen atoms are both reactive because of their number of their valence electrons. But what does this mean they'll do? They, like other reactive atoms, can bond together to form molecules. Atoms bond together in many different combinations, just like letters combine to make words. This combination of atoms happens to make a molecule of a very important compound. Any guesses what it is? This is a molecule of the compound H2O. H2O is a chemical formula you've probably heard many times. It's for water. In its chemical formula, the H2 indicates each molecule has two atoms of hydrogen. And the O, with no number written behind it, indicates only one atom of oxygen. A chemical formula communicates what each molecule of a substance contains. Chemical formulas use chemical symbols to show what elements are in the substance. Remember that these symbols are found on the periodic table, are always capitalized, and can be one or two letters. In a chemical formula, numbers written below the line are called subscripts. Subscripts show the number of atoms of each element that make up the molecule. And they're always written behind the element symbol they're referring to. Let's take a look at another formula for a substance you're breathing out right now, carbon dioxide. Its chemical formula is CO2. Because there's no subscript behind the symbol C, we know that there's only one atom of carbon. The two subscript behind the symbol O tells us that there are two atoms of oxygen. Get ready. It's time to play Translate That Substance. In this round, you'll see a picture of a molecule. Count the atoms of each element and translate what you see into a chemical formula. At this point, we're not worried about which element to write first in the formula. We just want to make sure you have the correct subscripts following each chemical symbol. Let's start with a molecule of hydrogen peroxide. What's the chemical formula? Notice there are two hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms. If you said H2O2, bravo. Here's another molecule. Watch out for this one. It's sulfuric acid. What's its chemical formula? If you said H2SO4, that's correct. Bellissimo. Let's try another one. What would be the chemical formula of a molecule of baking soda? If you said NaHCO3, you've got it. Très bien. Now let's take it to the next level. Sometimes a specific number of molecules are needed for a chemical reaction. To show this, a number is written in front of the chemical formula. We call this number the coefficient. All right, now we're ready for round two. This time you'll see a picture of more than one molecule of the same compound. Count the atoms of each element in the molecule and count the number of molecules. Translate what you see into a chemical formula with a coefficient. What's the chemical formula for these hydrogen peroxide molecules? There are one, two, three, four, five molecules. So the coefficient would be five. If you said five H2O2, you're right. Ting hao. All right, let's try one more. What chemical formula would describe these molecules of salt? 
there are one, two, three, four molecules. So the coefficient would be four. Each molecule has one atom of sodium and one atom of chlorine. If you said four NaCl, you are correct. Jamil. All right. Now this is more like what you will be seeing in class. When you are given a chemical formula, tell how many atoms of each element are present. Use your periodic table and the chemical symbols to find the elements present in spearmint oil. How many atoms of carbon are in one molecule? How many atoms of hydrogen? How many atoms of oxygen? If you said six atoms of carbon, 14 atoms of hydrogen, and six atoms of oxygen, you're correct. Gut gemacht. Let's try another. Use your periodic table and the chemical symbols to find elements present in antacids and eggshells. How many atoms of calcium are in one molecule? How many atoms of carbon? How about atoms of oxygen? If you said one atom of calcium, one atom of carbon, and three atoms of oxygen, you're correct. Zuri. Let's recap before you try some on your own. The subscript is a small number below the line and after the element symbol that tells how many atoms of that element are in the molecule. The coefficient is the number before the formula that tells the number of molecules of the substance. Now on your own, match the molecule with its chemical formula. Let's try another. Match the molecule with its chemical formula. Last one. Match the molecules with the chemical formula that describes the two molecules. Oh look, there's glucose. That's C6H12O6. I speak chemical formula. Congratulations, now you do too. See you next time.